we want to talk about sitting to standing and what your posture looks like. One of the key features in the research that's been done with Tai Chi is that posture changes with Tai Chi. Everyone has something that shifts. Might be small, might be larger, might be very pronounced when you figure out you've been in the wrong position for a while, um, or if you've got a health issue that is a result of your posture, then it, this is the impetus for you to be able to change posture and health to be able to follow. So what I'm going to talk about is how to properly sit. So on my chair, just going to turn it so you can see, I try to sit so I'm not leaning against the back of the chair. If I do, then I end up back and you can already see where my neck has gone and I'm collapsed into the chair. I'm sitting right on my tailbone and the cerebral spinal fluid cannot flow up. And if you listen to the video about gates, the lower gate is locked and there is going to be no flow of energy going up the spine. So what I try to do is pick a flat chair, but I also try to sit forward on the chair and not use the back. When I'm sitting, the best posture is with the ankles underneath the knees, feet flat on the floor, your feet are grounded. There's a flow of energy that can go down into the ground and come back out of the ground and you're energizing just by sitting here. The next part is we want to get the back straight and we want to get the neck lined up. And the easiest way to do that is to grab onto the ears, give a little tug up, and all of a sudden you find where straight is. And that would be your posture. This is a great one to start every time you're sitting on the kitchen chair, be straight. Then every time you're out somewhere, be straight. And then when you get to the living room and you want to collapse on the couch and then sink back into the cushions, you can decide, is this a time when I want to just relax or is this a time when I want to continue to be energy building? Because if you relax to watch TV in the evening, that would be okay because you're going to go to bed. But if you did that in the middle of the afternoon and collapse back into the couch, then you'll have lowered your energy down and it's really hard to pick yourself back up again and have energy and vitality going into the rest of the day. So just making your choices of how you want to be, what kind of posture you want to work with. So now what I'm going to do is go to standing. Even though you might be working on the seated form because you have some uh, physical challenges you're trying to work with, you still have to be able to stand and walk. And how can you stand so that you have the posture nice and straight? So I'm going to come out of the chair and what I'm going to do is just show you how I try to stand most of the day. I try to take my feet shoulder width apart and my toes straight forward. That lines everything up so that I have my hips lined up properly. Everything is open. I try to leave my knees nice and suspended, not locked back. Locked back means lower back is going to lock up. It means my breathing is going to change. So I try to let my knees release and I also let my hip release. So you can see when I lock up, the hip comes forward. And then when I release my knees, my hip also releases. So now I have this little bit of buoyancy. In Tai Chi, we try to stand with our weight over bubbling springs, which is on the top of the foot here. And when we stand suspended in that spot, every joint in the body becomes open and relaxed. If we lock up into the knees, it's locked. All the joints are locked. Even this doesn't flow. If I go forward into my toes and grip my toes, it's like I'm going to run and my body's like ready to go. The hamstrings and the glutes are already engaged in case I need to run. So what I'm going to do is sink back into the bubbling springs and just find where it relaxes. And you can see even my arms, they just bounce. That's what you're looking for. So now you have back of the head reaching up towards the ceiling and the chin so it's straight across so it's not tilted it's coming straight and you're looking straight forward standing with the weight equal in both feet you're energizing all the time sometimes you're standing for a bit of time so you might go back and forth between them but you don't shift the weight over to one side and lock up which is how most people will do it and if they're talking to someone very often the hip is going to go out a toe's going to turn they might put it up they might stand on it and already they've lost that contact with the ground. So coming back nice and straight. One way to practice that and get the breathing in so that you have a nice deep breath 
is to just bring commencement into the movement. And you find that on several of our uh, videos already in the series. So I'm just going to bring that in one more, just so a nice deep breath. And then I can stand nice and tall. So that is sitting to standing and using proper posture.